All right, well, hello everyone. For all of you who don't know who I am, my name is Doina Onchal, and I'm the founder and CEO of Hervolution. I am very excited to have you here with us today. As Jay-Z says, you could be anywhere in the world right now, but you chose to be here with us. So I appreciate that. All right, so today we're hosting our AGM, which stands for Annual General Meeting, to discuss our achievements for 2021 and share some of the goals we have for 2022. Thank you again for being here. And before we start, I wanted to mention that if you have any questions throughout this event, please add them to the chat box and Sally will be collecting them and sharing them with us at the end of the presentation during the Q&A time that we have allocated for you. Before I go any further, allow me to show our respect for the indigenous people whose land we're all standing on. Okay, the land we're on has been inhabited continuously for over 15,000 years. It is a traditional territory of the Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee peoples. It is also the land of the Petun and Huron Wendat peoples and recognized officially as the land of the Mississaugas and the Credit River as they were here at the point of contact. It is also the land of one dish, one spoon, one palm belt covenant between the Haudenosaunee and the Anishinaabe and other nations to share the resources and the caretaking of this land. Toronto is home to many indigenous peoples from across Turtle Island. It is also the home of the red-tailed hawk, the eastern gray squirrel, the red fox, raccoons, white-tailed deer, bats, and many insects and other species. While it is important to do land acknowledgement, we must recognize that we must do more to ensure that we are not doing checkbox activism. Recognizing those land whose land we are on is the start, but we cannot stop there. At this time, the word, the word reconciliation is on the mouths of many, including a lot of government officials, and often with a hello, hollow ring, sorry. Because there can be no reconciliation without conciliation, and there can be no conciliation without reparations. What that looks like is a conversation we need to have in consultation with the peoples of this land. We must remember that we are guests on this land and we need to be better guests, especially those of us who are European descendant. Thank you. All right, now to start our AGM. Although we continue to be a challenging year, we managed to break barriers and we achieved some audacious goals in 2021. The pandemic has taught us that we need to be flexible when it comes to program planning and our plans in general. It has also taught us that no matter what, we will come through it stronger. We had three major goals in 2021, uh, one of them being operations. We aim to outreach our programs across Ontario and hire more people. I'm happy to announce that in terms of operations, we've managed to achieve the following goals. When it comes to outreach, we connected to 37 public school boards 45 Catholic school boards and all of the schools within the school boards, 71 organizations in the GTA, and seven, and sorry, 25 youth organizations and drop-in centers from across Ontario. We hosted 70 program participants from across Ontario. We offer Wi-Fi subsidy and a summer stipend to participants from the STEMINA program. And we donated 60 laptops to program participants from the STEMINA and Go STEM program. When it comes to hires, we were very intentional when it comes to creating opportunities for young people. And with that, we hired a total of nine summer students and seven of them were women. This was an intentional process and not easy considering that for over four days of interviews that we allocated for this uh, process, we interviewed only men for two and a half days. So as you can imagine, to hire seven women for only one and a half days of mixed men and women uh, candidates. It was, it, this shows the intention. One summer student that we hired is a former program participant. And I look forward to hiring more women, particularly former program participants, offering them the opportunity of professional experience to support entering their careers in STEM. Bella, our chair of the board will speak more on the achievements 
terms of governance. And Kate will speak more on the fundraising for her revolution in 2021 and plans for 2022. However, I would like to take this moment to thank Adaptivate, particularly Karen Chan and Nikhil Josh for working with our team um, in 2021 to establish our OKRs in order to be set up for success. We're very grateful to have been able to partner with Adaptivate and ensure we work towards becoming a governance board. Thank you, Nikhil, for continuing to work with us in 2022 as well. <laughs> of We're very grateful for your support. Um, once again, the support of our community made 2021 an incredible year. We couldn't have achieved any of our goals if it weren't for the support of our volunteers, starting with our volunteers at Hairvolution, to the volunteers who came on board to um, support specific programs from our partners at Shopify, Google Canada, Zapata Computing, Citrix Canada, Soup Strategies, and Capgemini that supported the Stemming Up Ambassador on Go STEM program. I'm incredibly grateful for the partnership and support, not only in terms of volunteers, but financial contribution as well. I would also like to say a special thank you to Raise the Bar Toronto and Conrad Group for using International Women's Day and to Gillian Harris and Dyson Canada for using winter holidays as a way to fundraise for her revolution. These are true partnerships and I am incredibly grateful for their trust in us. Thank you for trusting the revolution. Um, some of other amazing things that made 2021 memorable are the great successes that our participants have achieved, from winning awards for aspirations in computing to winning international competitions, y'all. We went international. We have had five revolution stemming up students, Aisha, Mashal, Gera, Lorena, and Ariane that have received the National NCWIT Award for Aspirations in Computing, while the Care on Cake Click team from the Stemina program uh, formed of Yatusha, Tahia, Sahara, and Mashal, decided to pursue a competition in Chicago, and they brought home first place. Yes, I was and continue to be so proud to see their success, and I cannot wait to see how far they'll go from here. Their future is definitely bright. Oh, and have you noticed how Michelle won two awards the, last year? Yay, go Michelle. Uh, we're definitely rooting for her. I am not the always, I'm not always the one to brag, but I will mention a few things that I'm proud of because I'm hoping that some of you might be inspired and hope you will join me and help me applaud my team and our partners who have been the driving force behind all of the success. So we had 70 young women uh, that were serving our program. 50 of them were from Stemming Up program and 20 of them in the Go STEM program. 45 women in the Stemming Up program and 15 young women in the Go STEM program received laptops last year. We offered a $100 Wi-Fi stipend to low-income participants in the Stemming Up program. We also offered a summer stipend for up to $800 each to low income participants from the STEMINA program. As mentioned above, our Ontario outreach uh, efforts resulted in 37 public school boards in Ontario, 45 Catholic school boards in Ontario, and all of their schools, which there are hundreds, um, 71 organizations in GTA, and 25 youth organizations and drop-in centers from across Ontario. Whew, that was a mouthful. Okay. <laughs> Our ambassador program, although still very new, was a great success and that the ambassadors were an integral part of our Go STEM program planning. We were so pleased to see the engagement from the ambassadors and that they shared their voice by inviting guest speakers to raise awareness about the unconventional career pathways for women in STEM. They managed to bring speakers from professionals such as cybersecurity, space science, engineering, women in math, women in IT, women in mining, to name a few. And we're very grateful to the speakers from Alexio Corporation, Indospace, the Math Guru, Capgemini, and Soup Strategies. A special thank you goes to Capgemini for mentoring our ambassadors throughout the program. Hi, Karen. <laughs> yes. 
All of this couldn't have happened without the support of our committee members, especially Emily and Rachel, who were so determined to make the Gold STEM program in 2021 happen. Even though we did not seek recognition for the mayor of Toronto this last year for the Gold STEM program, that was what was more important to the committee members is that we show resilience and go forward. And to make this even sweeter, we reached participants from across Ontario in the program, from Toronto to Ottawa, we went. So our goal for 2022 is to continue with the outreach across Ontario, to increase numbers of participants in our programs and be more intentional in terms of including participants from the Indigenous and LGBTQIA2 plus communities. Okay. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Vivian Lee, our treasurer for completing her term and supporting her evolution with our finances for the past three years. Additionally, additionally I'd like to thank Kayla Patchett, board member and chair of the ambassador committee for serving her term at the board for three years as well. Thank you, Kayla, for continuing with the role as a chair of ambassador committee in 2022. Kayla is not here, but we send her thank you virtually. I can't wait to see where you will lead the team and for the amazing things you have planned for the program along with the committee. With that, allow me to introduce you to our newest board members, Kate Wolf, uh, who joined our board late in 2021. I'm very grateful for her passion for women in STEM and her commitment to her evolution. Kate waited for about six months until there was a spot for her on the board. And I'm so grateful for that. Uh, Kate is also the founding mem member of the fundraising committee, which she chairs, and you will hear more from her later in later on today. Moving forward, allow me to also introduce you to our upcoming treasurer of the board, Mora Olobubukun. I hope I pronounced that properly. Mora has come highly recommended by her peers, and I'm so happy that she chose Revolution to support moving forward. I look so very much forward to making greater things happen with you, Mora, and for taking um, her evolution to the next level. And of course, for inspiring more young women to pursue meaningful careers and become more confident that they can do anything. And Mora, I know you have a couple of words. Uh, yes, emphasis on the couple. Um, yes. <laughs> it, it's a great honor to be here. And just listening to what has been done even before I joined, is amazing. So it's doubled my excitement um, joining this game-changing um, organization. I'm all about female empowerment. So uh, I'm killing two birds with one stone here. I, I love uh, not-for-profits. I work for a not-for-profit and then volunteering my time uh, for a not-for-profit that's all about female empowerment is just um, icing on the cake. So um, thank you for having me. Thank you, Maura. Thank you so much. All right, so I am also very grateful to have young women join the leadership team at Revolution, and I am so proud to welcome our newest members of the youth committee who are soon to become voting members of the board. I would like to pass on the virtual mic to them for the introduction. So we are going to go with, I'm just gonna name them and then they're gonna introduce themselves. So Emily. I'm here. <laughs> Hi, um, so, so my name is Emily. I am a graduate of Centennial College and I currently work in energy consulting. Um, I've been volunteering with Revolution for about three years and some various opportunities, but mainly the ambassador committee, which I am currently vice chairing with Rachel. Um, yes. It's been really rewarding to see how far we've come in the past two years of doing the ambassador program and just seeing how much that we've developed and everything has just been really great. Um, and yeah, it's it's been <laughs> great to volunteer with Revolution and to give back to the community and help support all of those students. Thank you, Emily. Rachel. Hi everyone, my name's Rachel. I'm a mechanical engineering graduate from Ontario Tech University. I have a passion for STEM that's taken me across the country, north of the Arctic Circle, all to inspire the next great generation of thinkers and innovators. My professional experience lies mainly within the energy industry. That's where I'm working right now as an assistant analyst for Connectrix. 
Prevolution has been a part of my journey for the past three or so years, and I'm really honored to have been a member of the team that founded the Ambassador Committee. It's been quite the journey. <laughs> Recently, yeah. I joined the Youth Committee to build my capacity as a leader and to build the Ambassador Program to be the most robust and well-developed it's ever been. Yes, thank you, Rachel. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we'll go next, go to Cindy. Hi everyone, I'm Cindy. I'm one of the newer members of the Youth Committee. Um, I am currently a master's student in data science right now um, in New York, but I'm originally from uh, Toronto. I really deeply believe in Hervolution's mission and I've been, um, even in my short time, I've been learning a lot about what it's like to be on a board and I am looking forward to continuing to learn and contributing to the team. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, Gira, I'm not sure if Gira is here. Uh, I'm not seeing her, but I can speak on Gira's behalf. She's a former Stepping Up student. She's been involved with her revolution from, um, you know, as, a, as an aspiring coder. And now she leads her own Cracking the Code initiative that's uh, sparked from the Stepping Up program. Uh, I personally invited her to be part of the Youth Committee and the Stepping Up Committee. She's been involved with us as a student and the committee member for two years. Um, and she's one of the winners last year and this year as well of the NCWIT Awards, Aspiring Computing Awards. So we're very excited to have her because she is very ambitious and I can see her going very far. So I'm actually very excited to have her. Uh, she's actually very young and I thought she was much older for her age. I honestly thought she was already finishing grade 12. Meanwhile, I just heard that, oh, I'm just finishing grade nine. So that's goes to show how advanced she is. So I'm very happy to have her here. Um, Jessica, we have you next. Yeah, for sure. Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm a second year student at the University of Waterloo studying in the biotechnology and economics program. I'm currently on my co-op term and I'm working as a digital content creation, uh, uh, let's say coordinator, for a startup company. And the reason why I joined her evolution as a youth committee member after attending the program for the first time was because I found it an amazing way to learn about just practical and intriguing skills that really broadened my horizons and challenged me to be confident in, in the, new, the new endeavors I have ahead. I really enjoy just working with the people here because they have the same energy and we get to work on new goals that really push me to my limits personally in a team-wide setting or even in the real world. And it makes me look forward to the future ahead and how I can help others with innovative solutions. So I hope we all have a great night. Thank you, Jessica. And Erin, I'm not sure if Erin is here, but Erin is part of the fundraising committee as well. So she came, she's new to our team. She has come to Revolution and she's supporting Kate in the fundraising committee. So uh, now we can move on to Sally. Sally, we have you here. Hi everyone, my name is Sally Liu. Um, I'm a team lead at Profix, which is a financial planning and analysis software. Kate actually works there as well. So it's kind of funny that we ran into each other here at Revolution. Um, I'm actually transitioning from the fundraising committee to the marketing committee. So getting kind of like a breadth of experience here at Hervolution. Um, and the reason why I joined Hervolution is as a young woman of color in STEM, I'm really passionate about inspiring girls to pursue their studies and a career in STEM. I'm excited to serve on the youth committee and connect with like-minded people who are just as passionate about this cause. I hope to use my experience and skills to help advance Hervolution's initiatives and help in achieving equal opportunities for younger generations. Thank you all so much. Um, so welcome to the team. I personally look forward to what you have to offer to Revolution and the future of STEM. You are the future and you're creating the future. So that's exciting. Okay, and now um, I would have passed the virtual mic to Saba. However, she's not in today, but she is an incredible young woman who has supported Revolution over so many years, if I if I am right, I think six or seven years that she's been volunteering with Revolution. Um, and she is she does have something prepared for us that she's going to share with you. She is the lead of the youth, uh, youth board and um, she has a message. So if we can hear her message, that would be great.
Joanna, there's no sound coming through. Yeah, there's no sound coming through. Uh, Mora, you might need to be unmuted. I, I think it's the way we shared the meeting in the first place. We didn't share with sound. In their second and third years, they'll continue to grow their leadership skills and take on more responsibility as voting members of the board. Purvolution has always believed in giving youth a seat at the table. And through this updated model, we are very excited about working with our new youth community members as they continue to grow within our organization and push not only themselves, but our entire community forward. Thanks everyone and have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you, Saba. Uh, now, Bella, we pass on the, the mic, the virtual mic to you. Great, thank you. Um, Hello everyone. Uh, at the start of the year, we began down a path to focus on strengthening three key areas, areas of governance, and as uh, Dwayne had mentioned before, operations, as well as fundraising. Our primary goal was to allow us to scale so that we can broaden our reach and enhance our programs while maintaining or reducing the cost to deliver them. And I'm proud to highlight the progress that we've all been able to make throughout 2021. As Joanne had mentioned, we had the benefit of working with Nikhil Josh, a consultant at Adoptive today, uh, this year to help us put together a goal setting framework. He made us ensure that all of our work through our various committees were directly contributing to HR, uh, to Hervolution's overall strategic goals. Of course, this framework helped us track and measure our progress as well as to keep us focused. So thanks again, Nikhil. Um, in the area of governance, we were able to achieve 80% of our set goals. Uh, some of which included increasing the board's insight into our financials through monthly financial recaps. And this allowed us to plan further ahead with more clarity and to ensure funds are diverted to our highest impact initiatives. We also this year introduced and ratified a succession plan for our board and youth board members. And this ensures our roles continually support our strategic goals and to prepare us for any board member changes or transitions when necessary. Heading into or continuing on in 2022, our goals will uh, continue to focus on our financial governance uh, initiative that will be led by our incoming treasurer, as Amora, as you heard from Maura yeah. earlier on today. And uh, she'll carry on from the significant progress that was made by our current treasurer, Vivian Lee, as uh, Joanne had mentioned, is completing her term with us. Uh, the other goal that we will continue on or another focus is to put our succession plan into play. Now that we have it ratified, then we can certainly uh, apply it and make sure that if there are any future board member changes or transitions, uh, then we will be better prepared. In the areas of operation, uh, we were able to achieve 50% of our set goals. And of course, all of those gains are attributed to the success in increasing our outreach and partnerships. I think you heard about all of that from Doña earlier on in this session. Of course, all of that was led by Doña, in addition to some of the other uh, activities that Doña you do. So with that, for 2022, one of our main goals is to hire a program coordinator to help support our programs year round. And to take off uh, some of that operational activities away from Doña so that Doña can continue to place greater focus on outreach and partnerships. Finally, uh, the last area that uh, we were concentrating on is fundraising. Fundraising, uh, as uh, Doña uh, introduced early on in the session, our new board member, Kate Wolf, uh, she joined in uh, late 2021 to chair the fundraising committee. Uh, prior to that, this role was vacant for most of 2021, uh, which stalled our ability to move forward with developing our long-term strategy. However, uh, with Kate on board, uh, we aim to yeah. gain lost ground and uh, we aim to have a long-term fundraising strategy in place that will position us well later on this year and leading into the next year. So all of this progress, of course, would not, have been would not have been able to happen without our volunteers, our partners and sponsors and our board members. I wanna also offer my thanks to everyone who supported us uh, and uh, worked hard for us over 2021. And I look forward to working with everyone in the upcoming year. Uh, now I'd like to turn it over to Kate to talk about fundraising. Thank you, Bella. Good evening, everyone. My name is Kate Wolf, and I am a member of Hervolutions Board and also active chair, act as chair fundraising. Uh, I do have an ask this evening. We are in need of volunteers for our fundraising committee. Yes. And I'm asking, yes, Doina? No, I said yes. I'm oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 
So I'm asking here for volunteers. If you're passionate about Hervolution's mission and would like to help us fund our work, please do reach out to me at fundraising at hervolution.org. Sally, can you place that great place that into chat? Thank you very much. Hervolution's fundraising goal for 2022 is $415,570. To date, we've raised $160,000. Special thanks to Shopify, Profix, and Dyson for their generous donations to our cause. Thank you. You can help too. You can help right now by tweeting our AGM and at any time by sharing our posts or making an individual donation. Monthly donors are a critical piece of our fundraising. You can become a monthly or one-time donor simply by visiting our website and clicking the donate button. You can then choose monthly or one-time. We are also actively seeking corporate sponsorships in the way of monetary donations. If your company has a corporate social responsibility committee, I'd love to speak with you. Please connect with me on LinkedIn or email me at the address posted in chat. Some of the ways your money is put to excellent use by Hervolution include expanding our access to include all of Ontario, further diversifying by attracting more Indigenous and LGBTQIA2 community, and increasing students in our programs, which are targeted to low income, new immigrants, and BIPOC. Thank you for your time and attention. I'm really excited to see who reaches out to me after this meeting to help out. I'll turn the virtual mic back over to Joyna. Thank you again. Thank you, Saba. Even though you're not here, I know you're here in, 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 in virtual presence. Thank you, Bella, and thank you, Kate. As you know, we could never do what we do today without the support of our partners. It is incredible to me to see the support from the industry. In order to inspire young women to embrace their careers, they need to see what their future holds. And it is with the support of partners that we can make it happen so that we can see more young women embrace them and take on chances to win more awards and be recognized for their aspirations in computing and hope that will inspire more young women to pursue STEM careers in the future. I'm going to start with Shopify. Shopify, <laughs> thank you so much for the support with the STEMINA program and continue to do so for the fifth year in a row. What started as a conversation turned into a long-term partnership for the STEMINA program with Shopify. The conversation began when we realized that numerous young women from our other programs were eager to continue to learn more about technology and how to nav navigate their way into a career in tech. That's how the STEMINA program was born and Shopify is not only the founding partner for the program, but they continue with their support since then by providing funding, volunteers, coaches, mentors, and resources, in addition to being part of the planning process to ensure the program is a success. Um, of course, we cannot forget to mention the laptops that were donated by Shopify. And to date, it's about 150 laptops that were given to young women since the program started. With this partnership, Shopify is helping us to open the doors for our participants to their Dev Degree Co-op program, breaking barriers to an education in computer science with Sana who is one of our participants that have studied with us in the first year is a part of the, this DevDevU program at the moment. And we aim to continue to engage young women from the program to become part of that degree co-op program moving forward. I wanna thank you Shopify for all that you do for being an incredible partner to the point that I still say that we should write a book on how real partnership is done. <laughs> so I am not sure if Lauren, if you wanna say a couple of words. Sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> I can say a couple words and then if yeah, you're okay. honest, do you have anything to add as kind of the active champion of the program at the moment? But I yeah. just want to say um, it's always, uh, well, it's been a pleasure since I have started working with you, Joyna, and I was handed the torch from Brittany and I know she feels the same that um, this is a really special program and a really special partnership. So we are 
more than thrilled to continue to invest in what you do and what all these amazing young women are working towards. Yeah, Johannes, do you want to add anything? Thank you, Lauren. Yeah, well, the only thing I could really add is what a joy and what an honor it is to really work with you, Donya, and and really walk beside you as you create such amazing, incredible opportunities for folks that we also want to see enter the space, folks that are, you know, historically underrepresented in, in STEM, you know, and so really from the bottom of our hearts too, we, it, it really should be a book that we write together, don't you? Yes, of how yes. these partnerships work together. And, and yes. we're, we look forward to just the years ahead working with you. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren Johannes. Okay, I'll move forward, I'll move, forward uh, move on next to our next partner that I would like to recognize tonight is uh, Citrix Canada. Thank you for your support with the seminar program from, the, from its inaugural year. We thank you for choosing Herbolution as the charity of choice, and I'm very grateful for your continued support. And I want to particularly thank Isa for being the true advocate for women in step and for believing in her evolution. Isa's not here, but uh, she's happy to support her evolution. I can say that. Um, I'm moving on to Google Canada. Thank you so much for supporting her evolution in the 2021-2022 funding cycle. We're very grateful for your generous support in funding, speakers, and mentorship. A special thank you goes to Noelia for believing in us to make this happen. Uh, Zapata Computing. Thank you for choosing her evolution to support in 2021 with funding, coaches, volunteers, and speakers. We're very grateful for the passion you have shown our cause and are truly grateful for your support. And a special thank you goes to Luis and Marta for involvement in the program. Um, I want to thank Conrad Gru for using International Women's Day to raise funds for her evolution two years in a row and continuing to support uh, moving forward. The, the Conrad staff's participa participation for this fundraiser was and still is well received and we appreciate your uh, choosing her evolution as the charity of choice for your fundraiser. Of course, I cannot end this without thinking sky's the limit. I want to thank them for the continuous support by donating laptops to her evolution from one charity to another. We're extremely grateful for your support. The laptops that you donated to our participants have literally changed their lives by making it possible for them to have access to from high school to post-secondary education, especially during this trying time. So I want to thank Caroline for being a great supporter of her evolution. With that, I want to thank everyone who has con contributed to her evolution in 2021. Because of you, we're able to create magic, like really magic to expand our programs across Ontario so that more young women can have access to opportunities who wouldn't otherwise have. So today, together, we make STEM possible. Oh, thank you again to our long-term partners who have contributed to our program so far. We could not have made this impact without you. And now, because we will continue to make an impact, we don't stop. We really don't stop. I would like to say thank you to our partners for 2022 who have committed to funding our programs this year. Thank you everyone so much. Besides the long-term commitment from Shopify and Citrix Canada, we're very grateful to our additional partners that have committed to supporting our cause this year and hopefully beyond that. Uh, Profix, thank you for joining our partners list and for continuing um, for contributing to her evolution. We can't wait to make them possible with you. Dyson Canada and James Dyson Foundation, thank you for choosing her evolution as a charity of choice to fundraise for um, through book sales and for the generous support through Gillian Harris's fundraiser. ARC Financial and Insurance Services Inc. from Cooperators, thank you so much for your continuous contribution to our organization that will help us carry our mission forward. GM Canada, thank you for your continued financial support in addition to mentors and resources for the Ambassador and Growth STEM program in 2022. We're very grateful for believing in us and look forward to making innovation and engineering possible. NEM Ontario, thank you for the support. Together we'll be engineering the future and hope to inspire more girls to pursue engineering. Uh, Humi, thank you for the financial support. And last, but definitely not least, thank you, Adaptivate, for your continued support to the board, ensuring we meet objectives and goals for her evolution. 
All right. Well, thank you again for your support. And thank you everyone who has joined us today. I appreciate you being here and sharing your evening with us. And before we go, I am hoping that you have some questions. This is a time for us to go to the Q&A session. So if you have any questions, I'm not sure if there's any in the chat, Sally, if you want, if you want to call them out and then we can answer. If not, anybody can unmute and ask your question. So far, there's no particular questions from the chat, just some nice comments from Karen and from Kate. Great. So any questions you want to Anything that we haven't covered that you would want to know more of, I'd be happy to answer. Great, right, I just a quick question from me. Um, yes. If there are people um, who are interested in volunteering as a mentor, um, is mm -hmm. there a forum or something that we can be directed to? Because I think I went to the website and it gave me a 404 error on the link. Um, so just wondering. Oh. Uh, our mentorship for the seminar program is closed right okay. now. Uh, so we typically have mentors that are coming for through the program. So when mm -hmm. we have a this a specific timing that that goes up for, and then when the spots are filled, then we close the application. Okay. So at the moment, but we continuously open uh, you know mentorship program. Mm -hmm. I mean mentorship opportunities moving forward. So cool. that's just because it's closed now doesn't mean we don't open again. Of course, awesome. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Nikhil. Any other questions? No questions, but a comment. Um, yes. Great to see everyone. Familiar faces, hey. faces. Very exciting to see all the work that's been done in the past year and the way going forward. So this makes my heart warm. Congratulations to you, Doina, Bella, all the new and um, and existing board members and new youth community members just it's very exciting to see so thank you karen good to see you here haven't seen you in a while <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know karen is the former chair of the board so she passed on the torch to bella so it's good to see karen just jumping in once in a while checking in on us making sure we're good <laughs> thank you karen any other questions thoughts comments Okay, well, thank you. Um, what I'm gonna say again is I am very grateful to everyone for not just participating tonight, but all the contributions that were made throughout the year in 2021, contribution uh, for 2022 as well. I am, I sometimes I feel like I need to pinch myself to, I can't believe that when I started Revolution, I did not think it would go this far and here we are. And I'm so excited to see people want to jump in and say, yes, this is a great thing. And let's just, let's do something together. So I'm, I'm always, I wouldn't say surprised, but I feel like my heart just grows really big and it's really warm to see the people join and they want to support. Um, I remember the days in the beginning when I thought like, oh, I don't, this is going to be so hard and who am I to do this? And then here I am, you know, with everyone along by my side to, to support the cause and I'm very grateful. I'm also would like to say that, you know, it's always great to see the young women that come in the programs and you know, they, let's be honest, there are some hard days and it feels like, why am I doing this, you know? And then you hear, you get a message from a young woman that says, I got into the program I wanted. I am in, you know, I'm in university. I got the scholarship and, you know, and it just feels so good. So, um, and as I always like to say, I couldn't have done this without you guys. So I could never do anything on my own. I could do it by very small impact, right? But if we want to make greater impact, of course, it takes an army of people. So I'm very grateful for all of you for being here and for supporting me. And thank you so much. <laughs> yes. 